Folks, singles action, we just saw these two men in the ring moments ago as the big six-man match was set up for July 31st. There's Jason Daniels, Matt Marsigli, and this man, Frankie Vane, are gonna take on Ryan Waters, Matt Magnum, and uh, Brad Hollister, if there's anything left of them after this one. Hollis is a man I've seen before and I'm, a, I'm actually a fan of. And another guy like uh, TK Orion, who, what they can do inside the squared circle is very impressive. But it's this attitude problem that they have that kind of makes them uh, virtually unlikable. Frank Vane very wisely not giving chase. WCW were only Anderson was a troubleshooting referee. This counts out that ring. Hollister, powerful man in his own right, giving up a ton of it to this huge man in Frankie Vane. Frankie Vane controlling here with the waist lock. Ooh, the ankle pick. Floats over. Front headlock only has it for a second into a hammer lock by Vane. I don't want to take anything away from Vane. I nice pin there while still holding the hammer lock. Brings Hollister up to his feet. And I don't want to take anything away from Vane. One of the young man. Been very impressive here in recent uh, Top rope promotion outings. Both oh, men, this is going to be a tough contest. Very evenly matched. Kicks off by Vane. Side headlock to snap him over. Lightning quick. You see Hollister very wisely 
keeping his shoulders off the canvas. Oh! Trying to get Bane, it's just like that, quickly. Yeah, he could have the match won and immediately begs off. I question Hollister's strategy here. He had the advantage, no matter how short he, he had it. You have the advantage, you must continue to press. Do not give your opponent a second to recoup, to regain their thoughts. And I mentioned the power difference here, they're evenly matched, but if I'm gonna give anything away to Bane, it's gonna be that strength. And almost an amateur-like takedown, very German suplex-esque. Style and grace behind that one. Vane continuing. What is he working for when that is that hammer lock? Clean break there by Vane. Very nicely done. Almost took his head off with a slap. How often do you see that? The power of this young man in Vane. Hollister in the buckle, catches him coming, catches him going. Back, body, drop, cover. Didn't hook the leg, decided to try to wrap up the arms as best as he could. Not able to keep him in a pinning predicament. Put a lot of that weight on top of Hollister as he continues that chin lock. Hollister able to maneuver himself back up to his feet. Of course, not a clean break here. Shot right between the solar blades. That's not the first time I've seen this uh, tandem here. Waters, Magnum, and Hollister. Was that an orthodox headbutt to the trapezius? Kind of almost a stunning blow. Very unique offense there. Hollister. Game plan not stick to any one body part, not any one thing. As the assault continues. And the premature victory celebration uh, here as well. Bring him back to the center of the ring. Crushing Senton. Now I didn't want to say it earlier. Two count here. You don't want to say uh a young man gets a stigma in this business, but uh, a lot of what Hollister does here in the ring, his look, his attitude, the maneuvers that he partakes in, uh, it reminds me of uh, a young Kevin Steen. Both of me know him better, Kevin Owens, World Wrestling Entertainment. And that is high praise in the young man. And, oh, reversal here. Bane going for the sleeper hold, but Hollister quickly into the side suplex and quickly into the cover. I think that suplex took a lot out of Bane. Ah, oh, just rubbing that forearm bone. Folks, if you're at home watching, grab your wrist and the outside bone of your wrist. Imagine that part of your arm being raked across your eyes. Imagine what Hollister was doing to Frankie Vane there. Just so disrespectful and painful. Just a simple thing to do inside the squared circle. Shut up. Hollister up to his feet here. As is Vane. Series of shots in the midsection here. Only two. What was that? Vane just sent Hollister into the bottom rope. Rope first, practically. Folks, I've mentioned it before, but there's your turning point moment of the contest. But somehow, Hollister proving me wrong. Right back into this, both men trading shots here. I don't think Hollister's gonna get the better of this one. Bane sent in, Hollister dropped his head, neck breaker, scores. <laughs> 
Very nice one-footed drop kick there. Very good agility by a larger man in vain and just took his head off there with a double sledge. Only a two count there. The referee let him know just in case Vane was unsure what the referee's count was. A lot of times you're in the ring here. These late moments in the matchup, you're running almost pure adrenaline. Kind of you shut off the rest of the world. Oh, disgusting there by Hollister going to the eyes. Fisherman suplex, center of the ring, perfect. Only two though. I'm as surprised as Hollister is that Vane was able to kick out of that one. It's a moment like this where your conditioning plays in heavily. And I don't know what either man of these, these uh, men's gym routine looks like. How much they do on the elliptical. <laughs> I know how much. He's doing on the bench as Vane catches him. Out of midair with a power slam and takes home the victory.